Welcome to Faces Friday. I'm Lynn Sherritt. Thanks so much for joining me. I've been thinking about non-negotiables. What are non-negotiables? So for me and my research and delving into how we ensure all students are growing and achieving, the first non-negotiable that comes to mind is that we really must believe all students can learn, all teachers can teach. We have high expectations, early and ongoing interventions, and all of us can clearly articulate why we do what we do. That's parameter one. Another non-negotiable is parameter six. How do you put faces on the data? And for me and for my colleagues who work alongside me, we look at data walls and I really think they're called questioning walls. And those lead to case management meetings. And then the third non-negotiable is really having that shared responsibility and accountability for all students, for all learners who walk alongside us. So those three non-negotiables really uh, are underpinning everything we do in system and school improvement. What kind of leadership does that take? Well, we're all leaders. We must see ourselves as leaders, leaders in the classroom, leaders in the school, leaders in networks, and of course, lead leaders across systems. So when we feel that we're leaders and can lead, we must be humble and walk alongside each other to do this work. So we lead while learning and learn while leading. And when I think about walk alongside, I think that all of us as leaders need a knowledgeable other. And it leads me to think about failing fast. If something's not working, well, we just get up, start all over again, and move forward. To talk to me about these three big ideas, I'm having an interview with Jared Mulbray, Director of Education in the Maitland Newcastle Diocese. Please join me for Faces Friday. And you know, uh, when we were last together, I was really taken with how your team is um, doing the work they've asked schools to do. So it's not as if here's the school's work, but it's really not the system work. So I know you have a data wall, you have case management meetings, just as you would expect schools. Isn't that right? Correct. I, I think the really important thing is, is that if you walk into my office, we'll discuss what the data wall is. Yeah. Um, so we're in, the, we're in the throes of developing a new data wall mm -hmm. that is more relevant to the work we're doing in 2021. Mm -hmm. I'll be visible at every case management meeting. Okay. When we have our network meetings with principals, um, I'll be there and I, I will just be a participant. I think what you've, you've said so often, Lynn, is I'm, I'm co-learning with yes. my colleagues, yes. I'm co-constructing. Mm -hmm. But what's important is in my role as the Director of Education is, is that I'm highly visible, yes. I'm highly articulate, mm -hmm. but I'm also setting those expectations. Mm -hmm. So whilst we are inviting everyone to be active participants in this journey, there's also an element that is non-negotiable. Um, and so from myself, the benchmark is set and the expectations are indeed high. Mm -hmm. and, and that has its own positive effect yeah. on the culture of the diocese. Yeah, yeah, that, that's excellent. And I'm really glad you, you've mentioned non-negotiable because some people go, oh, we're not going to talk about non-negotiables. But I, I think in the 14 parameters, the non-negotiables are really uh, there to develop that culture of learning. So parameter one, we all believe all students can learn, teachers can teach, high expectations, and just like you've said, everyone can articulate why we're doing this work. And then parameter six, putting faces on the data through data walls, case management meetings. And then I think those two lead to shared re responsibility and accountability that we all own all the faces, whether we're at the system level whether we're at the school leader level or in the classroom as teacher leaders. Jared, I wonder if you have any thoughts around um, failing fast. I say, you know, um, fail fast, pick yourself up, keep on going. What do you think about that? 
Look, I think what's important is, is that we understand that we're taking the long view. Yeah. This is not going to happen in a week or a month. And I think it's important that we allow schools the pacing to get this right. I think um, if we, whilst there's a non-negotiable element to it, how schools uh, enter the journey is a little bit flexible. And I think that lack of initial pressure is a good thing in that they feel that they can find their right pace and time. Mm -hmm. um, I think also to allow system leaders, school leaders, to ask their questions. They will have um, their concerns or their whys. And I think it's important that they put those questions on the table in a very comfortable and non-threatening way. But they can see from me that there is a relentless energy about the importance of what we're doing that is not going to go away. Thanks again for joining me. I really enjoy these chats. And uh, I'm looking forward to you joining me next week for this ongoing conversation. Thanks again. See you next week.